Hello, Mione here and welcome to Fashion Report Friday, the weekly video series trying to get you the most MGP possible from the Fashion Report minigame located inside the Gold Saucer every Friday when judging begins. This is week 149 and this time the theme is Unyielding Night. The individual clues include two chains for your helm, on the plate for your chest, reborn for your legs and jewels of blue for your right ring slot. In this video we'll have a 100 score an 80 with dies and the easiest possible 80. For 100 then, I chose the Bronze Chain Coif. This is something you can craft with armor if you so desire, or you can go to Gualta or any low-level city-state armor vendor in any of the three start starting city-states, such as the one in Steps of Fall, and buy this from a Disciple of Wartab, and it will cost you 264 gil. Of course, this is limited to Disciples of War. To actually get this particular helm. Alternatives to this include the Mithril Chain Coif, the Cobalt Chain Coif, the Dark Steel Chain Coif, the Doctor's Chain Coif, which drops from Halatali, we've got a Templar's Chain Coif, which is from Desmal Darkhold, and the Vermilion Chain Coif will also work from Wanderer's Palace, but of course the top one, the easiest one, is from Gualta or any other low-level city-state armor vendor. For the chest then, I went with the Cobalt Curus. This is something that was crafted with armor. Alternatively, you could go for the custom-made Curus if you've done the level 5 Marauder or Paladin class quest. If you have done that and mislaid it, you can get it from a Calamity Salvager for 100 gil. Uh, alternatives above that include Wolf Curus, the Militia Curus, and the Lord's Curus will also all work for gold rating. For the legs then, this one's specific to your artifact quest. It seems for any job in the game, uh, but obviously we're working on Disciple of War here today, um, any A Realm Reborn level 45 artifact leggings. So if you've done your level 45 job quest for a particular job um, and you've misplaced these, you can go to a Calamity Salvager and look under the job related quest rewards uh, on Calamity Salvager. You'll be able to find these very easily. It's under the level 50 tab and you'll see level 45 job quest gear. This is the legs, so I went for the warrior ones, but of course, as you can see on screen, we've also got um, the paladin ones in front of us as well, and just depending on if you choose Disciple of War or Magic, obviously. Then finally then, for the ring for Jewels of Blue, we went for the Lapis Lazuli ring. You can get this from Sireleus in Estames Aesthetics, which is the shop in uh, the Steps of Fall in Uldar. Uh, this will cost you 1,735 gil and is pretty much one of the best things possible. It's uh, usable by everyone level 29, I believe, and above. There's not really much use for other alternatives but you could go with the aquamarine ring the turquoise ring the sapphire ring the wolf turquoise ring the dark light band of maiming and the platinum ring of casting apparently all work as well for gold but i went for the lapis one nice and simple very easy then in my opinion for 100 uh, when we come to an 80 score with dies you need to die any weapon in the game olive green your helm jet black your chest metallic silver your gloves metallic silver your legs jet black and unfortunately your feet jet black so it, well we've got three jet black dies there so it's a bit too heavy unless you've already got those dies on something um it's not for me, really. I, I wouldn't recommend it. So that leads us on to the easiest possible 80 of a week, which includes getting that bronze chain coif from a low-level city-state armor vendor for 264 gil and combining it with the lapis lazuli ring from Silas in Uldar's jewelry, placey, uh, esteems, aesthetics, and uh, those two things combined uh, with something filled in all of your character's gear slots will give you an easy 80 guaranteed so there we go that was fashion report friday 149 for unyielding night hopefully this was helpful if you want more information you can check out the description of this video to go and check out the theory crafting reddit thread which probably has even more um, recommendations for items as we go through the rest of the weekend thank you kindly for watching feel free to leave your own solutions below if you have them and i'll see you all next time